Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy from the C, the ATL Don checking in, and you're watching Fitted Fiend. Cause my sweat turned off right now. Kid friend looks going too turned off. Talking that talk, but it ain't about much. Hey, no nuts, cause sweat turned off. This week on Fitted Fiend, we have something a little bit different. Uh, we have two game used MLB authenticated um, fitteds. Um, for those that are unaware of what that means, we'll get into that. There's also another label that they'll authenticate them under as team issued. I'll explain all that as we get further into the video, but with no further ado, let's get into this. All right, my first pickup was from the Atlanta Braves Game News store. You notice we're doing it from the sneaker wall because this hat is green and it would not cooperate with the green screen, so that's why we're doing it from the sneaker wall. So this is a 2018 um, spring training St. Patrick's Day hat. It is the pro, pro light material that a lot of people didn't like. But this hat belonged to Charlie Culberson. Uh, a lot of people from here in Atlanta kn knows him by his nickname, Charlie Clutch. I like to send out prayers to him. Yesterday on September 14th, he was hit in the face by a 90 mile an hour pitch while he's attempting to bunt. Uh, and today is September 15th while I'm filming this. Hopefully I get this posted in the next day or two. And they announced today he had multiple face um, fractures in his cheek and stuff. So prayers go out to him. One super nice guy. I got this just because he's one of the few on the team that actually is good about signing autographs. So I bought this knowing my chances to get it autographed across the bill would be very good. So it looks just like the ones you buy from retail. Um, um, just you know, is worn by the actual player. So this is actually worn in the game by that player. So anyone that's familiar with this already knows it's pro light material. Got the rubberized A on the front. Got the rubberized new era flag on the side. Got the rubberized MLB logo on the back where they have a little shamrock in place of the baseball. Has the 2018, um, like it's like a home plate style um, rubberized patch with a shamrock on it. It's got a gray underbill. I uh, got this for 50 bucks from their game use store. I figured, you know, just to fit it alone would have been close to 40 if you just bought one off the shelf. And I love Charlie Culberson. He, he, he's a great guy. The, it has the MLB authentication hologram here. We'll get into that in a, in a few to show you how to look up so you can find out the details about your particular hat if you have a game used hat. Um, it's got the gray sweatband. He wore a seven and a quarter. Uh, the MLB authentic logos are all spring printed in. Got the new era tag sewn in. I don't know if the camera's gonna be able to pick it up or not, but his number 16 is right above where my finger's pointing. It's wrote in Sharpie. They write all the players' numbers on the inside of the hats. Now this season he's wearing number eight because the Braves re-signed Brian McCann and that was his former number. So he gave up his number so McCann could have his old jersey number. So, so this year he's wearing number eight instead of number 16. But uh, super nice guy. If you ever have a chance to see the Braves play in action, if you get an on-field batting practice pass, there's probably a 95% chance you'll be able to get his autograph. Like, you know, this guy's wonderful. He, he, he's what the game is missing. He's played every position this season except for center field and catcher. He's actually relief pitched. He's played right field, left field, first, second, short, third. No, this guy's incredible. Like, you know, there's nothing this guy can't do. He has so many clutch home runs. He's had two, like, monster walk-off home runs for the Braves. He had a, a walk-off home run from Memorial Day last season. That was just amazing. But uh, one hell of a guy. If you don't know about him, look him up. He actually was Vince Scully's final call because he actually played with the Dodgers bef before we got him in a trade. And so he's in the history books for that as well. All right, so my next one I got off of eBay. I was shocked when I saw this because it, it is a fitted of a player that I'm personal friends with. And the funny thing about it, I actually have a picture of me and my friend who plays in the MLB wearing this exact hat. I like this is too good to be true. So I had to get it. Sent the guy an offer and he accepted it. Alright, so for those that are new to the channel 
Um, I'm, I'm also in the music industry. I go by Infamous C. I have many friends that play in Major League Baseball that I became friends with, usually in the minor league levels, and we just maintained a friendship um, over the years. So this particular player I've known since 2011. I knew him back before all the hype was behind him and everything. And uh, Some of y'all may know him as El Oso Blanco. Uh, others know him as Evan Gaddis. He started off with the Atlanta Braves. I'll post some pictures up here in one of the corners for you to see of me and him when he played for the Braves. And also, I want to post up the picture of me and him as um, an Astro wearing this exact hat that I'm holding in my hand is the same hat he has on his head in the picture. So I, it was awesome I was able to get this. I had several of, of his game use hats when he played for the Braves, and I got them all autographed. So I hope to get this one signed in the near future. So this was his 2015 spring training hat it's uh, got the diamond era technology orange dome got the navy button navy bill got the houston astros h and star done in a circle they had not started putting the new era flags on the on-field mlb hats yet so there's not one on this one it's got the mlb logo done in the back in navy white and orange it's got a black underbill it's got the MLB authentication um, hologram there. You would type in that number and it would tell you about it. So he wore a seven and a half. Got the new era tagging there and the authentic collection tagging there. Now you can see a, a few sweat stains up here in the sweat band. I don't know if the camera's picking that up around this area and stuff. But this is from his first year with the Astros. Also, if you see like right above my finger, his number 11 is wrote on the inside of the hat. So I was very happy to add this to the collection. I have his batting practice slash spring training hat from the 2014 season, which was his last year with the Braves. So I have his 2014 and 2015 spring training hat, hats now. And I also have his 4th of July hat from um, the 2014 season. Uh, he played in the majors for uh, 2013 and 2014 with the Braves and was traded to the Houston Astros along, I think the guy's name is James Hoyt, is a pitcher. It was traded for Mike fulton uh Rio Ruiz, and I think his name is Thomas Thurman. I, I may have the first name wrong. But um, or maybe, yeah, I think it was Thurman. But the only one that had any major league success um, that we got in, in return was Mike fulton of course. Uh, Rio Ruiz got caught up a little bit. He never was good enough to stay on the major league level, though. He's no longer with us. But uh, Evan Gass has an awesome story. He played in you know, high school ball. He got on the drugs and was actually homeless, living out of his car. Didn't play ball for, like, over four years. Bounced around from oddball jobs, from being a janitor, working at a ski lift in Colorado, until he met an inspirational speaker in California that forever changed his life. He called up his stepbrother that played in a junior college in Texas and was able to, to convince the coach to allow him to try out for the team, and he made the team. The Braves discovered him. The rest is history. Uh, mammoth home run hitter. Uh, he picked up the name El Oso Blanco in his final year in the minor leagues. He played in the Winter League in Venezuela, and they nicknamed him El Oso Blanco due to all the home runs he hit. And El Oso Blanco, for those that do not know Spanish, means the white bear because he's a you know, big guy. And he now has the beard, but at the time he, he, he didn't have the beard yet. The Braves used to have a rule that you, the minor leaguers couldn't have facial hair uh, the most they could have was a mustache, but they couldn't have full beards. But they have lifted that rule now, so the minor leaguers are, are and the Braves organization are now allowed to have facial hair. But uh, super great guy. I was shocked nobody signed him this year. Uh, you know, I I would have figured a American League team would have picked him up at least as a DH. You know, he's naturally a catcher. He played a little bit of left field for the Braves and a little bit of left field. For the Astros, but um, the Astros primarily use him as a DH. 
You know, he hits 20 plus home runs every year. He's hit over 30 in the season before. So I'm shocked no American League team picked him up. Hopefully, you know, he can return in 2020 with somebody. But let me get into showing you how you look up the MLB authentication. I'm going to do a screen recording. I'm going to try to sync this up the best I can to my talking so it goes along with it. All right. Let's get this opened up. All right, sorry about that. It took me a minute to get the screen recording set up. So just go to Google, type in MLB authentication. It's the first one that pops up. Click on that. All right, on the web page, you're going to scroll down to the left-hand side. You'll see where it says hologram authentication. Now we're going to do the Evan Gaddis hat from the Houston Astros that we saw first. Numbers already in there for when I looked it up before. All right, click on not a robot. Cards. Verify. All right, I'm gonna click on the authentication button. All right, remember earlier I was talked about there's a difference between um, game used and team issued. Well, they have this list listed as team issued. The reason why they do that, I've even asked authenticators and the people in charge of the teams um, merchandising. They label it as team issued a lot of times if they don't have an exact date that it was worn. Because sometimes the hats can be worn for multiple dates so they don't authenticate it for every single date. So just because it says team issued does not mean it's not game used. They have to, call, have to list it as that. Um... Um, because the guidelines of team issued and game used, the game used, they have to put the exact date that that hat was worn. So probably on the Charlie Culberson hat, it's going to say the exact date. So it says team issued cap hologram number JB046704. It says the event was end of season authentication, regular and postseason items. So they just did everything from that. 2015 season, they just went ahead and authenticated everything for um, the entire 2015 season for the Astros that wasn't, you know, under the game use category. So as you see, it says October 28, 2015. It says uh, additional information. It says Gaddis number 11, and it says product description: Astros batting practice cap. All right, so we did that one. I apologize if you hear some feedback in the mic. Because uh, it's probably picking up stuff from the computer, and I have my cell phone in here and the lights, so it may cause some feedback in the microphone. If it does, I apologize. All right, so we're going to go back to the hologram authentication once again. We're going to do Charlie Culberson's now. All right, JC 07229. Alright, I'm not a robot. Bridges. Can't tell if that one is a bridge or not. I'll click it anyways. Alright, so hit the authentication button. See, this one comes up as a game used. So it says hologram number JC070229. It says event St. Patrick's Day authentication. And date May 17th, 2018. Additional information Charlie Culberson, 16. So, even though both are game used, this was only worn for one day, so that's why they label that as game used because they had the, the specific date that this was worn. Because a lot of times for spring training or regular season, they'll wear a hat for you know months at a time or you know weeks or the whole season if, if they keep in a good shape. So keep in mind he was a DH so he really got to wear his hat. He usually had a batting helmet on. So this hat was his for the entire season because I know him personally. So they list this as team issued because they didn't have the specific dates that it was worn. So he would have wore this all the spring training and Probably during BP, I've never been to a Houston Astros um, batting practice 
during the regular season to know if they wore the regular on fields or if they wore the because a lot of times the spring training hat and the BP hat would be the, be one and the same. So I don't know if if that if that's true for the Astros or not. I know the Braves typically don't do that. Um, the spring training hat is about the only time you ever see it is it is in spring training and they traditionally just wear the regular Braves on field fitteds when they take BP from all the times that I've done on field batting practice. So that's how you look up the MLB authentication. I hope everybody enjoyed today's video. Um, if you want to see my entire game use fitted collection, please comment down below. I have a pretty good bit. Uh, I have at least two to three more Evan Gaddis hats. and Most of my stuff is, is going to be Braves. But if you would like to see it, comment down below and let me know. Please give a big thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Trans Unlimited merch in the description. Till next time, it's your boy from the C, the ATL Don, signing out. Peace. Come through with white and blue Yankees, the match of jeans